Tommy, you must be delighted with that performance. A brilliant uh, bouncing back from a, a bit of a tough one on Tuesday night. Yeah, I think credit goes all to the players, to be fair to them. Um, to a man, the lads who started, the lads who came on, and even the lads who weren't involved in the game um, on mass just responded brilliantly you know we did have a nose bloodied on Tuesday night we all know that and I'm, and I'm the first to admit um, a lot of it was my my decisions and a lot of it wasn't you know and a lot of it wasn't about the performance I didn't feel because for 20 minutes on Tuesday we were right at it and I thought we could have been 2 up. but yeah when we have had a nose punched this season which has happened a couple of times as a group they've themselves self-governed they have actually got themselves back up off the canvas and come come out fighting and that is probably one of the most complete performances mm. we've had I think if I'm if I'm being picky we probably should have scored a couple of more goals Tyler Frost named as the sponsors man of the match then yeah. DJ and Tete getting it from the cameras yeah but you say complete performance there it could have been absolutely anybody couldn't it it wouldn't it was a brilliant performance I, from everyone I think it would have been difficult to give it to any one person I thought every single one of them it was a team effort the energy on and off the ball the quality of times on the ball was just what you, you as a coach and a manager you, you work all the time to, to get glimpses of that and I know and everybody talks about us as an attacking threat but them lads have worked their socks off. I mean, I, I think James Daly went on at about 65 minutes. I bet you he's covered as much ground as some lads who, who yeah. started the game. I mean, his effort and his work rate was outstanding. Kwame, when he comes on, is battling away like he does. Um, and young Max, he's not been on the pitch for the first team for a little while. And I thought he's come on and played a really tough six minutes he had, yeah, mm. six or seven minutes, um, because they were on the front foot at that stage. So every every single one of them, I, you know, it's, it's a collective win as we always do and it's a collective loss when we lose but I'm delighted for the, the the fans the shots fans who stayed with us on Tuesday night nobody likes getting beat at home me more than most um, and we certainly don't like getting when those busted like we did on Tuesday but I think I hope that pays a little bit back we listen that's not that's not it we've got another whatever seven six or seven games yeah and I want that kind of performance as a benchmark a clean sheet will do wonders for the confidence of the whole team, won't it? Not, it's not just the defence, it's not just the goalkeeper, no, yeah. it's, it's everyone that c contributes towards it, as you've just said. So Absolutely. everyone's going to be buzzing off that, aren't they? Well, Geordie tends to start off most of our attacks, mm -hmm. and Lauren or Jack or James or Kwame at the front tend to start our press. So, you know, each need each other. Um, and to a man, like I said, the, eth the ethic, the work ethic, which is, I'm not saying the work ethic was not good on Tuesday night, it was, but things went against us today not so much went against us and I think the, the persistence we shielded in the first half and to knock the door down eventually just before half time and get a couple of goals was significant because they had to change things and I thought that we looked really really dangerous on the counter in the second half. We saw Kobe and Kean having to miss today's game which might have caused a few mm -hmm. problems obviously yeah. messing up a, a back four well, about five sorry that has been you know a focal point for us all season so but there was no worries about that at all on the pitch was there they, they were fantastic Roland came in and did brilliant and then Tyler Frost on the right there as well yeah well listen these are players that I trust all of them Keane and Kobe as well as um, Roland Tyler and anybody else who's coming to the side so it, it doesn't surprise me I've never picked a back five since I've ever been a manager by the way yeah it's three three, five but, yeah. but, but, I, but I, I know what you mean and yeah listen the fact that I can do that, and we need to do that, like I, I tried to explain in my programme notes, some of these lads have got tanks full of petrol and I've just turned them out every week. Some of them haven't got that. They've either had injuries or knocks and niggles that we've got to manage away from here, you know, and so that's why certain substitutions are made or certain people start certain games and others will start other games. That's just part of the part and parcel of football. And well, lastly, as you know, we're in front of the cameras. This is the last interview of the day for you. I'm sure you're tired out from it all, but it's just great to send to send that message to everyone that was watching today, isn't it? That you know we are still about and we can bounce back like that. Yeah, like I said, our bounce back ability. The word in, I remember who made that word up. It was Ian Dowie, and, and but it's bounce back ability has been persistent all season for us, or consistent all season for us. Um, what we've got to do now is we've got to try and maintain that level, home and away. But look, it doesn't get any easier. We're playing another side on Tuesday night who, you know, they're a good outfit and we lost by the odd goal in three up there, as we did at Altrincham. We'll try and turn that round.